that time of year again. People are making New Year's resolutions. They are saying all of the things that they didn't do this year, they're gonna do next year. Large group of people are lying to themselves. They're lying on their Facebook pages. They're lying in their tweets. They're lying on their Instagrams. I saw this really crazy Facebook post how someone was very disappointed at their performance or really lack of performance in 2015. I've talked about this before, I'm talking about it now. New Year's resolutions are for suckers. There is no point in you waiting until this arbitrary time of, well, 2015 is over, baby new comes in later on tonight this is my moment this is when I'm gonna make it happen this is when I'm gonna do it no you begin doing what you need to do it's all that I'm working on I think I'm gonna call it the 50th year I'm toying around with it I started working on the project the name I don't know what the name is gonna be but I started working on the project two months ago I didn't wait until, well, let me do it in January. Look, no. I started working on it some time ago, putting it together, trying to shape it up, so to speak, because it's a long-term project. It's, uh, you know, just to give you a little bit about it, I want to enter my 50th year, which would be in 2016, better smarter, better health, better relationships, instead of just focusing on this this one thing, because life isn't about one thing, you just, it's very hard to focus on one thing. I want to go in my 50th year with everything, well, not necessarily everything, but some core elements of life better, just better. Give, give you an example. I'm on the way to the gym right now. I really sat down and reevaluated my workout. Just wasn't happy with the results. There was a lot of backsliding, going back and forth. Well, I sat down and realized, well, okay, what do I want to do? Just simple stuff. You'll you'll hear someone online, and it's like, okay, this is what you need to do for a good workout. Well, what if what they're talking about doesn't fit into your goals? I have a lot of strength in the deadlift. I mean, I was doing just working weights of 500. If I just sat down and really dedicated myself to the deadlift, I probably could get to seven something in a year. Seven, yeah, well over 700, probably could. Now, does that align with my fitness goals? No, it does not, because what will happen is my back will get bigger, my traps, you know, I already have the Penn State neck, my traps would get bigger, my forearms would get bigger, uh, my back would get more corded, but that's not what I want to do. Actually, I want a smaller waist, don't really want a bigger back, don't really want a bigger tra bigger traps. Don't really, you know, forearms, yeah, that would be nice. Bigger forearms would be nice. But there's a lot that would happen that is not in line with what I want to do, which is not in line with my long-term fitness goals. So my strongest lift, my most, you know, the, the thing is when you're, you're grabbing four plates to warm up, and then you put five plates on, then you have six plates and the bar is bending and you're all there doing all your grizzly Hulk growl, you know, it's very much feeds the ego and vanity but it's about 80 percent diametrically opposed to what i want to achieve so it had to go with that little change i am squatting more for reps than i've ever squatted in my life and i've only been on this program three weeks but that's the power of focus and that's the power of taking action, and that's the power of now. Right now, as you're listening to this, 
you're never going to get this moment back as so many people like to put on the internet. I want my five minutes of my life and just lost back. I want, you know, you're never getting it back. Once it's gone, it's gone. And when you have that kind of mindset of delaying your progress to some arbitrary date, what else are you delaying on? What else are you holding back on? It just doesn't make any sense. So if you need to fix something, you need to work on something, the time is now. It's right now, as we speak, as we breathe, as we do this thing called life. This is the time for you to work on your stuff, work on yourself, build yourself, and create. And, and be, and be happy, and just do some things, because I would say 2015, from a creativity standpoint, from a business standpoint, from a defining of my purpose standpoint, was an awesome year. It really was. I finally put together something I have been working on for two and a half years. And that's another reason you need to get started. What you want to do may take a way longer than you think it will. You know, uh, the first started off with the Hustler Mindset Project. Had some success with that, but it wasn't what I wanted. Then have the right tools. And that's something else. As you are working on your stuff online, the tools that you need may not be developed, but if you're working and you're looking and you're searching, when they come online with some great person that creates it or develops it, you'll be ready for it and you can implement it. Now I've got a major tool that helps me do the things that I want to do and it creates, it's creating a lot of really, really good energy. But going back to you, if you want to go ahead and get started, and making those changes, the time is now. Just a tip. More than likely, what you want to do is going to take two to five times longer than you think it will. More than likely, it will take two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten times more money than you think it will. With that, getting started, getting in the process, you, you give yourself a great deal of energy. You give yourself a great deal of benefit because when you are engaged, you see some stuff, but I am very happy with 2015. I'm looking very forward to 2016, not because I waited until 2016 to get busy. I got busy two months ago for 2016. And if you're a business person and you know about season and markets, you know, you're already preparing for Christmas 2016 now. If you are about your business, you're preparing for that now. You're putting together your stuff now. You're sourcing now. A lot of trade shows and markets happen in January. You got to be ready. You know, there's a lot of products that are coming out. There's a lot of things. There's a show I'm thinking about going to because of something I want to do. It's an experiment for HustlersKungFu.com. I think it'll be really cool. And just, just a lot of things that are fun. So... My message to you and Happy New Year and all of that jazz is get started today. Not, you know, at 12.01 tonight or uh, next week or when you go back to work or and that's something else too about getting started. You you have many people who are going to go through that that period of readjustment. They're the period to re-hustling and getting your hustle. I said, I didn't stop during the whole, you know, holiday season. I realized that many people had already checked out for Christmas and I adjusted my public exposure, but the behind the scenes grind mm -mm, didn't stop because to see the grind is slow. It's like your movement of success sometimes is like the hour hand of a clock. It's moving, but it's barely perceptible. You'll just have to sit there stare at it for a long time to see the movement. That's how success works. It's just like a little tick, 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 tick. That's why you got to get started. That's why you got to stay started. That's why you got to really, really begin to hammer in on your success. Just saying. Just saying. But with that, I'm going to have to go in here and throw around some weights, um, dial in some things, 
because I'm doing a test Tim Ferriss style on myself. We'll see how it goes. But just take heart and know that you can have any and everything you want in the world if you're willing to pay the price. So, if you like the content of this video, and you should, go below, get on my email list. It's an email list. It's, I'll, be, I'll be straight up with you. It's an email list, and I will send you emails. Uh, first series of emails will be, come join my I Will Teach You How to Make Money webinars, where we discuss real ways for you to make money. Yeah, that's coming. And then, hold on, brace yourself. At some point in the future, I am going to try to sell you something. Yep, 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 yep. Now, if I can't say that, if I'm not that confident in my stuff, if I'm not that sure of what I'm doing, that I have to lie to you or try to seduce you into buying stuff, probably wouldn't be shit anyway, straight up. So those are the facts. That's what's going down. I will not lie to you. I will not play games with you. But I will make you better if you do the work. True story.